Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden, and welcome to my blog. All right, okay, so um, at the end of the last one, I said I hadn't decided what this one was going to be about yet. Uh, part of the reason to come a calendar yet. I still don't have a calendar, and we're now seven days into January 2020. <laughs> so, um, I either get a calendar or I won't. I mean, I, I should because I have liked having a calendar the last couple of years. It's just getting around to sorting it and stuff like that. Now. I'll probably sort that soon. Um, but I've also come to the decision um, that it might be a good idea not to plan out what the next vlog is going to be about. Um, Partly, you know, I mean, on, on my calendar, I might sort of like have like rough notes for like what I could talk about for these. But one of the things I've been finding sort of increasingly hard with, you know, planning my vlogs is coming up with things that I, I want to talk about and then having to stick to that particular topic when I am actually doing these vlogs. Um, as not, some of you all notice, um, recently I have gotten a bit sidetracked. Um, I have been sort of very focused on particular things and although it's nice sort of like having a plan so that I don't get like completely focused on one thing and I'm boring boring you guys because all my vlogs are about that um but at the same time you know not having to feel tied down to a particular topic not having to keep coming up with with things to talk about and then letting these sort of form a little bit more organically um and sort of going a bit more with the flow might be a nice way of, of continuing forward with these vlogs, um, especially because, it, you know, it, it's, it can be really hard trying to think of, you know, pl you know plan a month ahead, plan a, you know, a couple of months ahead for, for what I want to talk about when I don't necessarily know what's going to be going on in my life at that point in time. It's like, you know, last year, the first um, homeowner vlog that I did, I had no idea that less than a couple of months later it would be, oh my god, I'm actually becoming a homeowner. I thought, you know, I'd have more of the year leading up to that point and it all kind of condensed very, very quickly, um, a very sort of quick fire, very rapid kind of way. And that completely changed my plans for what I was going to do when and, and this, that and the other and, you know, decorating as well also sort of put a bit of a, a, a spin on, on how I was doing things and when I was doing things and what setup I was using and yeah it, it, it got to the point where it felt very inorganic planning out what I was going to do for the vlogs especially when there was so much going on last year and I was sort of having to think about so many other things um, and stuff like that so I think what I'm, I'm going to do with my vlogs this year is I'm going to have sort of like a loose idea um, once I get my calendar of things that I can talk about um, just as a kind of oh right yeah you know I'm, I'm not really sure or whatever it whatever else it might be but I think I'm just gonna just gonna be a bit more organic with how these vlogs are when I actually sort of come to film them, I think I'm just going to sit down and I'm just going to talk about whatever happens to be on my mind at that particular point in time. <laughs> and this is what happens to be on my mind um, today. And this is something I have, I have been thinking about um, a little bit, certainly towards the end of last year, when it, I, I was in a little bit of a rush to get things done and I got very distracted and, and was very sort of mindful of book and kind of tried to keep my mind focused on that because you know I it, it is my career my chosen career path and I you know I do want to sort of hopefully get that really started this year and I'm not going to start developing talking about books again I'm, I'm going to keep this very this vlog focused on my vlogs um so I think you know going forward from here on in I'm not going to have a this is what my next vlog is going to be about at the end of the next one i'm not going to start off my vlogs with at the end of the last one i said this one was going to be about this unless of course there is something specific that i want to talk about because of what the, you know, the time of the year it is or because i've got something coming out or i've got a piece of exciting news to share those are the only times where i might go back to doing that again but other than that i think you know very much these vlogs are going to be just I've sat down today and this is what I feel like talking about. Um, 
and then deciding afterwards what the actual topic of the vlog was and titling it appropriately and, and, and stuff like that. So it just feels like a much more organic way of going forward with this. Um, hopefully it'll be a much more interesting format to take the vlogs in. Um, as I said, you know, the first year that I that I did the vlogs, I had like so many ideas as what I could do vlogs about. It became very, very book focused, very, very, you know, my writing style focused, my motives multiverse focused. Um, and then, you know, subsequent year, I found that I wasn't necessarily as focused on what I, I could be talking about. And last year in particular, it was just um, so much else going on in my life. Um, and some of those things were things that I, you know, would have been better off sharing a bit sooner rather than sort of like trying to share it when my mind wasn't there anymore. It was like a few steps past there um, and stuff like that. So it just felt like such a disorganized, I mean, it, it should be a more organized way of doing it, uh, sort of like to plan out, you know, what you, what you want to talk about for these, for these vlogs. But I actually found it was a much more disorganized way of doing it um, for how my life was kind of going last year. It would have been much better to have reacted uh, to to where my thoughts were and, and where my you know my thoughts and feelings were at the time, rather than having to focus on these arbitrary arbitrary topics that I sort of selected as a way of, of getting through from week to week. So, yeah, going forward from from this point on, my vlogs are going to be more organic. <laughs> um, I mean, I might sort of have a little bit of a thought about it before I sort of sit down and film them. But I very much want to sort of go forward from here with the idea of my vlogs are just going to be, hey, this is what I happen to be thinking about right at this particular moment in time. I'm going to vlog about that. And that's what that will, is what will go up on the Friday. Um, it will probably it'll, it'll probably mean that I'm not going to be filming vlogs, like two or three vlogs in a row, unless I've got two or three things going on in my head. At the same time, I'm probably going to do one vlog. Oh, this is what I'm thinking about right now. This would be a good thing for me to vlog about. I'm going to film it now um, whilst I'm thinking about it rather than, you know, having to sort of go, OK, I need to talk about this and then I need to talk about this. And then I've got two vlogs filmed and then I need to edit one for one week and then edit one the week after. Um, I, I want this to sort of be a more organic process because I want to have more fun with it going forward. I want to be able to talk about what's exciting me right at this moment in time, what's getting to me right at this moment, you know, what, what might be annoying me right at this moment in time, you know, various things like that. I want it to be more reactive um, because I think I have more fun when I'm filming the vlogs, when I'm reacting to what I'm, I'm feeling and what I'm enthusiastic about or what's getting to me or whatever at that moment in time. Um, I feel my more interesting vlogs, um, certainly when I'm editing them, the ones that I laugh a bit more, the ones where I, you know, have a bit more fun sort of like listening back to myself are the ones where I'm more energetic and more enthusiastic, where I move a lot more um, because as I'm sure you guys have noticed, I'm a hand talker. <laughs> I, I, you know, move a lot if I'm enthusiastic or if I'm excited about something or if I'm really getting into something, I, I you know, I, I'm a very physical talker, <laughs> um, very kinetic talker. So I, I tend to find I think I'm more engaging and, uh, and interesting to listen to when I'm enthusiastic and I'm you know going off the cuff and I'm you know spurting all the thoughts that are coming into my head rather than having to be like focused and going okay this is what I've said I'm going to talk about now I have to find a way of talking about it um, which just feels so inorganic and so difficult to do not difficult to do it's not impossible to do I mean obviously I've been doing it I've been managing to do it but I feel like I come across a bit stiffer a bit less enthusiastic I don't feel like I come across as interesting when I've gone okay this is what I'm going to talk about because I need something other than you know the book to talk about <laughs> um for five minutes um it, it you know, I want these to be a bit more fluid. I want them to be a bit more reactive. I want them to feel a bit more organic. So I'm not going to plan out necessarily what, you know, what I'm going to be talking about when, um, unless I'm sort of like getting towards a Friday and like, I really need something to talk about this particular week. And as I said, sometimes I might film two or three in a row, like I have been. Um, and sometimes I might go, okay, I've only got enough, you know, thoughts in my head for one particular one this time. I will do, you know, another one on another day, which I thought something out that I really need to talk about. 
um, hopefully having a slightly more organic format and sort of talking about whatever it is that happens to be on my mind at that particular time rather than forcing myself to think about something that I you know need to do a topic about um, will allow these to be a bit more interesting again because as I said I think I'm more engaging when I'm talking about something that I'm enthusiastic about or that I have clear strong feelings about or that I am talking about in a more organic way I mean um, certainly uh, the, the blog that I ended up splitting into two blogs um, had that kind of because I naturally started talking about something else both parts of it although shorter and you know in, in those sorts of terms were more interesting because I you know I, I sort of naturally went into that sort of you know these, these are things that are on my on, in my mind these are things I've been doing these are, you know this that and the other um, and certainly when I talk about you know books and I know I do get a bit carried away with all the books about all the blogs about the books <laughs> um, but certainly when I'm sort of talking about those kinds of things I'm more enthusiastic I'm more engaging and more energetic um, I care a lot more about what I'm talking about um, which I think comes across better for you guys when you're watching than if I'm just going okay this is a topic I said I'm going to talk about and now I have to think of a whole bunch of things to talk about um, it may mean that we don't get any fan fluations for a while because fan fluations is just something I tend to throw in when I really couldn't think of anything else to talk about um, which meant that yes okay I was talking about something that I was now I'm enthusiastic um, about but I was not necessarily doing it in an inorganic way that's not to say that there won't be any um, fan fluations but they'll probably be more reactive, a bit more like the uh, the Pokemon one was, where it was like, I'm currently playing Pokemon Sword and Shield and it's amazing. Um, I want I want like my fan federations to be more like that um, going forward. So they will happen when I've got something that I'm watching, that I'm currently really enthusiastic about. I just want to fangirl. Um, and I just think going forward, this is a better way or will be a better way of of doing this um, just in terms of making it more interesting just in terms uh, for me as much as as for you guys um, and it will just be I feel more organic it will be uh, easier to do because I'll be sitting down and instead of going oh my god I've now got to think of a way of talking about this for however many minutes I can sit down and go okay what's on my mind today what do I want to talk about right now and I apologize if that means I'll be talking about my book stuff a lot more um I should be anyway <laughs> um I mean I'm gonna try and, and not you know constantly be talking about the book stuff I do get that you know um that will get very boring if it's always about you know oh my god I'm writing this and doing this and doing that um but at the same time, you know, that is a lot of what goes on in my head. That's a lot of what goes on in, in my mind. I do, you know, I am constantly talk, thinking about, you know, the book stuff, the writing stuff, you know, the right side, the editing side, this, that, and the other. Um, so it's not a, it's not a case of, yeah, that, that's going to happen every single week. But it's also a case of, yeah, that's probably going to happen a lot because 90% of my brain space is filled with writing stuff because I, I want to be an author. I am an author. <laughs> I should say that, right? I am an author and I might not be a successful author at this point in time, but I am an author and thinking about my books and talking about my books and stuff like that is, you know, it's what goes on in my head. It's, it's you know, 90% of what takes up my head space. Um, so sitting down and just talking more organically about my books and my writing and not sort of planning what I'm talking about also might help <laughs> make these vlogs a little bit more interesting because when I'm sort of trying to sort of focus my thoughts a little bit then it can be a bit a bit harder to kind of get across what I actually want to get across um, which is my love and my passion for, for the books and the stories that I, that I write um, so yeah, I hope you guys are excited to see exactly what I'm going to be doing with these vlogs going forward. Um, I'm certainly excited to see you know, how this is going to how this is going to go moving forward. Um, should be should be fun. Should be interesting. As I said, it's going to be more organic, if nothing else, um, and that's not a bad thing. I think 
this vlog style format needs a little bit of a shake up if it's going to sustain itself into another year um and the best way sort of of doing that is to kind of go all right i'm just gonna sit down and when i film these vlogs it's just gonna be whatever happens to be in my head that day and it, if it organizes itself into a particular topic great fantastic that that's what i want uh that you know makes it a lot easier to title if it doesn't then so be it you know it, going forward I just want to have a little bit more of a different attitude towards doing this vlog and not do them in such a strictly organised way because I think that was kind of killing a little bit of my enthusiasm for them, certainly towards the end of last year until I started talking about book stuff again. <laughs> and then I was like, yeah, book stuff. So excited, so much energy. Um, that's what I want. I want these to be fun and interesting for me to film and I want them to watch, to watch, to watch and that's only going to happen if... I stop being so organised about it and start going, right, okay, I just need to sit down and film this, this is what's in my head, let's talk about that, rather than trying to focus on something that I have no idea what I want to say about. So, yeah, all right, okay. I hope you guys have found this vlog interesting and informative and are excited to see uh, where my vlogs will go from here. Um, and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.